What got you there with got you got you? What got you there with Shonda Laney? But there is um, there is a principle, and the principle is called the keeper test. And the keeper test means that on an ongoing basis, uh, the manager should do, do a, an individual exercise where she may imagine that um, one day everybody on her team is coming to her and saying that they're leaving the company. So maybe one day I have um, Rick who comes to me and Rick says, you know, boss, I'm sorry, I, I'm leaving the company. I have another job. You know, how am I going to feel? Uh, am I going to be devastated? Am I going to say, no, Rick, don't leave, right? Am I going to fight hard to keep him? Well, if I know, if I will, then I know he's the right person for that spot. He's a keeper, right? Mm -hmm. um, am I going to feel a little bit relieved? Am I going to feel a little bit excited, like thinking about who I could get in that position now that I have that spot open? Um, and if so, then you have to ask yourself a couple more questions. Have I given candid feedback? Have I told Rick clearly what he needs to do in order to improve his performance? If I haven't, I better go do it now. But if I have, if I've been doing it repeatedly and I still would be excited if he told me he was leaving, I mean, that's a clear indication he's not a keeper. Right? <laughs> uh, this guy, he's like Nick the actor. He yeah. must be moved. Right? <laughs> so it sounds a little bit harsh, but I do, um, I do think that just doing this exercise with yourself as a manager, it gives you a lot of clarity about who's who should be on your team and who you should think about trying to replace. Shonda Laney got you there with Shonda Laney.